So I built this uh, lead holder yesterday. We got 50 foot of shielding gas. This is uh, 7525 right here. And we have 100 foot of oxygen acetylene. Then we have 100 foot of ground, 100 foot of uh, positive here. I need to put a connector on here. Uh, then I have a whip that's in here. It's like a 10, 15 foot whip. But uh, this is a two and three eighths pipe. And we have a set screw here. And uh, we have the 45s. So there's a four inch piece of pipe. Then there's a adapter, a weld on adapter that adapts it where it makes that, that cut, that saddle cut. Ideally, let's see, it would go 90 like that, lock it in place, and then you have your leads right here on the, the driver's side of the truck, you know, come right off, and actually it can rotate all the way around, uh, all the way over to here. Um, right now I have the, I've just tacked on a cap just to keep it nice and covered, you know, but I could have another piece in here later and use it more like a hooser pole instead of just a uh, lead rack. And I have another 50 foot and a ha of this shielding gas and I have a, a little adapter where it'll adapt them together so I could have 100 foot. That's kind of the theme here, 100 foot of everything. So, But I need to go get that. And I have a quick disconnect over here somewhere. Yeah, it's like right here. I have a quick disconnect for the, uh, I have an LN25 feeder in here. so. I can run MIG or dual shield off of the feeder off the 1974 Lincoln SA200 here that has been rebuilt, redone. It's gorgeous. Oh, here's a tip. If you have an SA200 and a tub, you know, tub rig, get one of these grinding shields and put it over the, the cone here because it won't quite fit the regular cap. So it works really, really well. It's an old trick, but it works really, really, really well and protect those brushes and the armature and everything keep uh, keep water out of them so next off I'll be building uh, some sort of a better rack for those stands um, would be something I'd like to do as well but man this is nice having everything off the back of the truck like this is uh, really really handy to get to